Hi, I'm Joshua Hardesty with Bose Professional, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Ease Address to model distributed loudspeaker systems in two dimensions. But first, let's review what Ease Address is and some of its limitations. Ease Address is a free, user-friendly tool for planning ceiling-impendant loudspeaker layouts. It is manufactured by AFMG Technologies GmbH and can be downloaded at www.afmg.eu. It helps you determine the number of loudspeakers needed, how to position them, and more, all without requiring extensive training aside from this introductory video. Ease Address provides a prediction of direct sound coverage from the loudspeaker and does not calculate room acoustics. Ease Address includes licenses for all DesignMax, FreeSpace FS, in ceiling, and pendant loudspeakers, as well as all EdgeMax models. Ease Address doesn't support surface loudspeakers, which are typically wall-mounted and angled downward. The tool only offers an overhead view with all speakers pointed directly down. For surface loudspeaker planning, consider using Ease Evac, which supports this setup and works with GLL files for DesignMax, FreeSpace FS, and other models like AMU. Alternatively, you can use Bose Professional Modeler software, Ease 5 or 4.4, or other design tools. Ease Address offers both simple and advanced features. Its simple uses include determining the number of loudspeakers needed for a space, calculating the required amplifier power, visualizing coverage with minus six dB circles, and advanced features include predicting direct field performance, including room average SPL, manually adjust, add, or remove loudspeakers, view and print coverage heat maps, generate detailed project plans in PDF or Word format, support for asymmetrical rooms and blueprint overlays, utilize hex pattern layouts and quick multi-room project setups, simulate SPL and frequency response with listener cursors, snap loudspeakers to grid for tile simulations and access a database for coverage comparison, and speed up the process of integrating designs into Ease 5 for reverberation predictions or adding surface loudspeakers to rooms. When you first launch Ease Address, go to File and select Options to set up some general settings. Under Environment, you'll find the path where Ease Address stores system definitions, otherwise known as GLLs. This is where you'll want to store Bose Professional GLLs after downloading them from our website. For the Americas, I'll choose English and Imperial for the language and units, respectively. Under the Display options, I'll select to use fixed grid size of 2 feet and will leave the remaining settings in their default state. By default, Ease Address's mapping resolution is set to medium quality. This is good for designers as it speeds up the processing time. You can change to one of the higher qualities when you are done and ready to present your design to the customer. I'll leave the frequency response options in their default state. Next, I'll set the input signal type to pink noise under calculation parameters. Finally, under the project defaults, I'll update the author, company info, room height, ear height, and amplifier network settings so that every new project starts with these values. When starting a new project, you'll want to begin with defining the geometry of a room. In the Room tab, enter your room dimensions. For example, for a 60 by 40 foot room with 12 foot ceilings, input these values. For number 2, enter 60 and 0. For number 3, 60 and 40. And for number 4, 0 and 40. You can import a room image like a blueprint or a screen capture in formats like PNG, JPEG, GIF, Bitmap, or TIFF. To scale the image in Ease Address, have the room's length and width dimensions ready. Import the image, set the scale by selecting two points, points A and B, and ensure the distance matches the image. The image becomes a background, and you can adjust its transparency. I'll show you how to manually draw rooms and adjust prediction planes as needed. When creating a second room with a different ceiling height, select Copy from Background 1 to reuse the image. Check the room height, ear height, and network. This is the amplifier style, low impedance, 70 volt, or 100 volt. If concerned about the signal to noise ratio, set your noise level and specify frequency ranges if needed. In the toolbar section, you can choose between Z-weighted, which is flat, or A-weighted, which adjusts frequencies to match human hearing. 
Use A-weighted for communication systems as it attenuates low frequencies. For coverage mapping, click Show Mapping to generate a heat map, or toggle Relative Mode to check level consistency. If using Relative Mode, start with 2K, 3 octave, plus or minus 3 dB. Use Auto Arrange to have Ease Address recommend the loudspeaker quantity and placement. Select your loudspeaker model, then the tap setting. Ease Address will place speakers and draw minus 6 dB circles. You can adjust the layout by deleting unwanted speakers. For background music, low density, edge to edge placement may be sufficient. For systems requiring speech intelligibility, like flight announcements, a higher density, minimum overlap or center to center may be necessary. Loudspeaker results can be reviewed under this tab. Here you can check tap settings, mute, unmute speakers, and adjust individual or multiple loudspeakers. You can change the model or tap settings by selecting one or all speakers. Loudspeakers can be moved by entering new X, Y coordinates or by using the mouse to adjust its location. In the frequency response window, you can add cursors to analyze SPL and frequency response at different locations. Choose the number of cursors, then place, move, or delete them as needed. Turn on mapping values to read the SPL, and use the relative to cursor 1 option to see the SPL difference in decibels. For EdgeMax loudspeakers, place them manually instead of using auto arrange. Each EdgeMax model has four files. EM90 has top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and the EM180 has left wall, top wall, right wall, bottom wall. This is necessary because Ease Address doesn't support speaker rotation. Drop in the required EdgeMax models, turn on mapping, and ensure the energy is directed correctly. If needed, you can change the model in the loudspeakers tab. If you need time effect modeling due to room reverberation, Import your Ease Address model into Ease for further simulation. Well, that wraps up this quick look at using Ease Address to model distributed loudspeaker systems. Thanks for watching.